This is the Pocket Master Manual. I'm Wooly Shambler here with MD. Whoop! Racing Brand. Whoop! And Specs. Whoop! We're talking about Whooper. So. It's good. Uh, I love him. It's I love excellent. him. I want to get the elephant in the room out of the way first. Yes, this thing can learn Ice Punch and deal with it. Yeah, it just, <laughs> it just slaps you with his tail. That's I like I th- I'm thinking out just like a mouth just flies out of its mouth. Or a hand flies out of its <laughs> mouth. A mouth flies out of its <laughs> mouth. Oh, no, it's, its, mouth. One of, it's one of those eels. <laughs> uh, all right, so this is definitely one of my favorite water types from Gen 2. Yes. It because, is my oh my god, look at it. It's got no arms. It's very it's cute. cute. It's uh, the start of a very good typing as well. Water, ground, yes. negate that electricity. Um, it's a shame, point. really, that we got more Pokemon that have that type because like, it was quite unique before that. Yeah, then they yeah, just kind of threw it on hard. <laughs> they, did, uh, they did at least one every gen for like four gen street. So. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, it was Mudkip's type as well. I like it, Whisk, yeah. it was Quag. Oh, yeah, Cash Whisk money. Cash is good. Cash money. Gastrodon, Seismitoad, yeah, it's been, it's been a lot, but hey, I mean, this is the boy that started it all. It so Wooper is highly toxic to the touch. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he that. just spouts homophobic stuff all the time. It's terrible <laughs> to be around. Wooper usually lives in water, but when it occasionally came south to land in search for food, it coats its body with a gooey, toxic film. Why? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It's a defense mechanism, I guess, like a frog. Oh. So I think you don't want to eat it, right? Probably why you can get Sludge Wave and Sludge Bomb. Yeah. yeah. I like it when that fits in with what moves they get as well. Yeah. I didn't realize that, but it's good. Yeah, it's a very cool touch. What, uh, is it based on an actual real-life animal? Yeah, it's, a, it's an actual model. Same thing as Mudkip, but a little more accurate, mm. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Especially it's shiny, because it's like a bright... Alright. The name origin. Yes. Wooper and Upa are derived from Wooper Looper, a marketing term created in Japan that started a pet salamander raising fad. Wooper Loopers are the Japanese term for the axolotl, a species of salamander. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I feel like I see salamanders quite a lot in in like Japanese media and stuff. So Yeah, they seem to love the little like lizardy boys. I love his, his smile. I know. Yeah, the smile is uh, good. The Gen 2 one, the Gen 2 one is like so iconic. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, agree. I like that his eyes are just <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> one pixel large eyes. Yeah. So like, great. What is this? Oh, I love his shine. I like his Gen 2 shine. I don't really like it past that. Yeah, it gets way paler. I, I do really like the like that hot pink. It like kind of suits him. Yeah. Like neon pink almost. Yeah. I like that in Pokemon Crystal, when it blinks in its animated sprite, it like its eyes get bigger. Essentially, <laughs> they just get wider to show that it's blinking. Um, what do you think the antenna are made of? Do you think they're bone or like hair? Cartilage. Or... What's their purpose? Um, the same thing that it's a purpose. To receive uh, signals. Yeah, yeah. So like, is this? <laughs> they weird do mo- look like antenna, don't There's they? There's this weird motif where it looks like Wooper, like yeah, is like an antenna or something. Because like, if you look at his belly, it almost looks like a Wi-Fi like <laughs> signal thing. You know, it's a bit early for that though. Well, yeah, but like that symbol isn't for Wi-Fi originally. I mean, it's just oh. kind of what? What like if Game Freak thing. invented Wi-Fi? That explains why mine sucks.